Yes. <laughs> this is Hyun Jung, that though as you know, that belongs to Sasuke's high school. Before I start my speech in detail, I want to express my huge, now the biggest gratitude to you guys that I can convey by being assist through this speech. And thanks to Mr. Song, who is my English mentor, I could prepare, <laughs> prepare my speech very well. Uh, let's begin our speech uh, by recalling our heartbroken history. In the, in the past, our ancestors had to spend the hardest time in their life because of Japan. Until Japanese colonial strict rule, and this, is, this era is called in Korean Ilte Gangdongi. Because of the Japan, as I said, they have to spend very hard this time. But thanks to them, we could keep our history until now, and we can use Hangul until now. Maybe there is no, there was no effort resisting against the Japan of our ancestors. Maybe there is no history and our history, our Korean history, until now. So, you know, before I know there are TEDx events, he always lives in my heart. Maybe not in my heart, but also all of us heart. Okay, for now, I will have an, a one small question to you. Just to put, raise your hands up if you think the answer is yes. Have you seen you have you seen the poem of Indonesia in Isa? Okay, let's okay, start. <laughs> and do you know the poem title? A poem is only written. 쉽게 쓰여진 시라는 시를 아십니까? Yeah. Okay, the uh, a poem is only written and a confession. These two works is I will introduce in detail later in my speech. There are three fine goals I want to achieve after this if after this speech. First, I will introduce the noble spirits of Yindongju, such as reflection and a feeling of shame. Maybe you already know that Yindongju is a point of shameful feeling. This is the, his Yindongju's nickname in Korea. And the second goal I have to achieve, not only me but also all of us here have to achieve is that recalling our heartbroken history. Yindongju's main sentence, main theme is that not forgetting what's the wrong and what's the right, right way. Do not forget, this is the, one of the most important main theme of Yindongju. And following by reflection and feeling of shameful, feeling of shame. And lastly, the most important goal I have to achieve is that I will make an emphasis on how literature plays a major role on society by diverse ways. In short, I will emphasize <coughs> literature, the power of literature, and let's start. Uh, this is a picture of the Yundongju. And because it is the one of the famous poets in Korea, there is a movie titled Dongju. Do you know this? Do you know this movie? Yes! Uh, uh, maybe I think he, they have a similar look, doesn't he? <laughs> and for now, let's imagine the literature aspect in that era. Maybe there is big two kinds of literature. First, pro-Japanese literature, and secondly, anti-Japanese literature. And surely, Yunongju participated in anti-Japanese movement by his own special way. About his own special way, I will explain in detail later. And actually, frankly speaking, there is one more literature. Uh, it called modernism. And this kind of literature didn't reflect the, the passes of the times. But in my speech, I will focus on these two uh, and on the anti-Japanese 
literature rather than pro Japan's literature. Japan has three policies to deny our national identity. Their main purpose, in other words, their main purpose is that rule out Korea entirely, not only economic power, but also mental attitudes, in other words, mental values. First policy they did was they compelled us to change our name into Korean. And this event is called, as you know, Tangsi Kemyo. And secondly, because they want to get powerful, powerful economic strength by using our Korea's money. And lastly, I want to focus on last policy. The last policy is that they banned, they banned writing and speaking in our own language, Hangul. They are always compelled us to use only Japanese. Even though we have our own English hunger. As I said, these three policies, purpose is deny our national identity. They want to not get not only economic power, but also our entire career's mental attitudes. As I said, they banned our they banned using our own language. And from now on, but thinking about using indigenous languages meanings. Using our own language has two meanings, two big meanings. Okay, only superficially, it means just writing letters, writing our handle on the paper or in the modern society, just writing your articles and uploading your blog, all your SNS such as Facebook and Twitter. But if we analyze this meaning in detail, it has very profound meaning. Using our own language means that keeping our own history. There is a famous word that the people who don't know the history, there's no future for them. So this is the very important meaning of the using our own language. Because Japan know the importance of using language, they banned it. But in conclusion, we keep our history, we keep our real literature. Because of the intellect, including Yun dong who resisted by writing his own poems or other extra literatures. Yun dong act has the two big meanings. First, the his act gave a new perspective to us. Imagine of the anti-Japanese movement, uh, such as Yunatsu, just go out the street and calling out, st screaming out for the resistance. But Yun dong uh, actually Yun dong thinks himself do a very timid way to resist, just the writing. So uh, the work of poem is written is the typical work of him to show his reflection. But actually, his way to resist against Japan is the powerful tool, and we knew it already. And secondly, remembering, don't forget, don't forget our history. So recall our history. We have a very painful and heartbroken history on the Japanese colonial street. To he always emphasized on remembering. And last back to explaining about the Yun Dong-ju's life. Yun dong father, father wanted him to be a doctor like modern parents, but because he has a tremendous ability on writing, he went to Japan to study more about the literature. And this process, he felt very shameful. You already know the answer. Already know the answer about why he felt shameful. He had to resist Japan, but he went to the Japan to study more. So during the process of learning literature lectures, he tried to come back to his home in Korea. But sadly, 
he was arrested in suspicion of anti-Japanese movement. And the most sadly, he was died in jail. But he left the honorable post, honorable spirit, honorable ethnicity. He helped us to keep ethnicity in people in modern society. So don't forget what Yun Dong Ju and other intellects who write the poems or literature to resist against Japanese colonial strict rule. My conclusion is that writing has a tremendous power. Just writing a diary, writing a diary every day about your opinion and thinking, and share with your friends, or on the internet and debate or talking it about with your friends or some other ordinary person, it has a very deep, deep meaning. By writing, it means that by writing in our language means that we keeping our history and we have the future. And it, and conclusion. And also me, I try to keep the writing on and on. And I was wonder what is your own story. Please tell your story. What is your own story? And this is the end of my speech. And if you have the time, though if you don't have the time, even though you don't have the time, please tell your story in our own language, our own honorable language, Hangul. Thank you.